what if people laugh at me? What if they don't like me? What if I'm the only one who watches the content? Who may not know i'm tamara my daughter and i zone we started this channel about two years ago we do reviews vlogs motivation the whole works you can check out the videos that are on here so we started this journey to share what we know with others and so we wanted to talk a little bit about that journey the journey has been rough but we have learned so many things along the way and i wanted to share that with you guys today just in case you are in a position where you may want to also start a YouTube channel, but you're iffy and you're unsure, it is not smooth sailing, but I want to encourage you, start where you're at and start with what you have. You may not know right off the bat what it is that you want to do, but there, just know that there is an audience that's kind of waiting for you and we are still figuring that out as we go along. I've learned a whole lot of patience. It will teach you patience. Patience in editing. It will teach you patience in um, thinking about what content you want to put out there. It will also teach you to be bold because even though I'm sitting here and I'm talking to my camera, I feel like it tends to be harder to talk to a camera and i felt like we've we've grown my daughter and i we've grown so much compared to our first video and how shy and low-key we were in presenting content so i feel like if you're looking to kind of boost and build your confidence this is the platform that will allow you to do that youtube has also opened my eyes to my supporters because in my brain, I'm thinking, okay, I know at least 500 people, I think. I know at least 500 people. And then in my brain, if I can get those 500 people to support me, because I feel like I'm a very supportive person. And if someone I know starts to do something and I can support them, I will. I've found myself in a position where uh, people that I know start a business. I don't necessarily need the product that they're selling. But just to show my support, just to get their business going, I go ahead and I purchase a product. But I've learned that the people you know are not necessarily the ones, and that's just a sad fact. The people you know, the people you think are going to support you, they don't necessarily support you. But that does not mean that you will not grow and that does not mean that you will not find people out there who will like your content enough to kind of stick around and support you and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell and leave a comment takers have no limit so givers have to be the ones to put a limit on stuff when i travel home this is how i travel when i think about it i'm thinking this is crazy if when i go i the most i'll stay for is maybe like three weeks i don't need everything that's in here for three weeks everything that's in here is not for me this is for people that you know you have back home or friends or people that you just know because it feels so good I feel like it feels good to just give and not look for anything in return but ever since I started this channel I'm like this is a way that you know passive income money can come in and all you ask people to do is kind of just watch the videos just watch it it doesn't necessarily have to be something that you are interested in and I'm talking about the people that I know other persons who come across this channel, if it's not something that interests them, they may not click on this video, which is totally fine. In this case, I'm talking about people that I know, people that I assume would support you. But the people, well, the Bible says it best. King does not get honor or king does not get crown in his own country. And so as we, we grow this platform, I've learned that, okay, this way that I used to travel when I go back home, I'm, I'm done. It's, it's just not worth it. The way I used to go all out for people, like I just don't do that anymore. I, I really don't. In everything that you're doing, consistency is the key. You show up because even if it's one or two people, you want to show up for those people. 
because they're gonna be looking out for you we post a video every Wednesday every Sunday every Wednesday I changed the time just to kind of see where the algorithm is at but we are being consistent which is good we're working on the thumbnails we're working on or or titles that's not something you get like off the bat but if you're looking to start start with what you have I am still recording with my phone and because I feel like I'm not gonna throw a lot of money into YouTube until YouTube start making its own money there is no rush it is as far as I'm concerned passive income while doing things that we enjoy so you want to find something that you enjoy doing and then when you find something that you enjoy doing people will see you and love you for you people will see the passion in whatever it is that you're doing because there is an audience for everything if I just come on here and I decide to just rub my fingers through my hair or if I just decide to moisturize my face or if I just decide to show me washing my feet there are people out there who would like to see that you just don't know you have to just get started stop putting it off make the first video make the first move and then you just don't know where the algorithm is going to take you now the problem is to have the discipline to just keep going because a lot of us we we start and if it's not going the way we want to which it will not always go the way you want it to things are going to come up and so you have to tell yourself that no matter what you're going to keep going you're going to keep pushing you're going to keep showing up you're going to keep making the content and it may not be the very best in editing but over time you get better because anything that you're learning practice i feel like practice makes progress and you get better every time you get bolder in front of your camera and you just present the content like initially when i started it was very overwhelming and i was like god i don't want to be controlled i felt like it was controlling me at first and i was like god I'm giving this to you this is something that I want to do but I and I still have a life outside of this I still have a full-time job outside of this I want to do it and I want to do it well but I do not want it to control me please help me to put it in its place because everything in your life needs to have a place the problem is when things start to get out of place so with that said you need to be organized you don't have to be one of those OCD ish type person where everything has to be spot on but in terms of YouTube you probably need to have a day when you create the content a day when you edit the content just so that it's not interfering with everything else that's in your life especially if you're not a full-time creator because you do have life outside of YouTube and it will consume you if you do not put it in its place it will consume you and you don't want that you want to have fun doing what you're doing the results you may not get right away but if you keep working at it I, I feel like if you you keep showing up and if you keep presenting the content you keep being consistent and that's kind of where we're at so as you plan to create you want to also think about not just creating for yourself you're doing what you love but you're not just creating for yourself you're creating for the hundreds of thousands of people that are out there and so this might not be your comfort level or your comfort zone but you have to kind of step out of your comfort zone in order to create something that's going to reach people out there because at the end of the day you want your content to to be seen you want people to click on the content in the back of your head know that you are not create whatever it is that you're creating you are creating it for someone else and it may not always be something that you want to create as far as confidence is concerned i i i'm not like a big talker contrary to to what this may seem like i'm not a big talker i'll step into a room and i'll be very quiet because i feel like we have two two ears and so we're supposed to listen twice as much as we speak and i like to go into a space and really listen because i feel like that's how i learn I'll go into a space and I'll just sit there and I'll consume and I'll soak up all the information so that I can, you know, make sense of it. So this platform, however, allows you to kind of step outside of you as you grow your community. My daughter, 
not to mention she she was always kind of outspoken but she she's gotten bolder i feel and i get to spend time with her you know while we create this content together and like when we do the motivational videos we get to have you know like a, a, a mother daughter moment where we have conversations that i truly want to have with her in real life you know not just to create content but in real life because the motivational videos that we do create we create those like on the spot i think of them in my brain in my head and then she doesn't know what we're going to talk about so that you can you know get her genuine or original response to whatever questions um are being asked so if you are thinking of starting to create what are you waiting for no excuses I mean, it can be scary because it's a big wide world on here. I was kind of scared initially about what people would say, but what people think about you really is none of your business. And so if you are to think and constantly worry about what others are gonna think about you or what others are gonna say about your eyebrow, oh, this one is higher than that one, what others are gonna say about your skin, you will never get to be who you want to be you'll never discover yourself so if you feel like oh people are going to be judgmental welcome we live in a world where people just say whatever you want to keep it positive but that's not the world that we live in but that should not hinder you from picking up your phone and just starting to create something because you just never know who you'll inspire people will be negative you'll come across people who will say negative things not everybody will like what you create and that is okay and they make negative comments in the comment section you click like thank you for watching you're still getting the views thank you for watching and then you keep it moving you don't feel that with like a negative comment i know sometimes people say things and we feel like the easiest way to kind of get back at them is to say something negative no you just kill them with love and you kill them with kindness so if you're looking to start your channel today that's kind of in a nutshell or journey if you did enjoy this video we've got so many other content on here that you might find useful do check those out and subscribe to the channel if you're new. thank you so much for watching thank you for your time i hope you find some value in this video and if you did you will join our glam fam and i'll see you on the streets